Hello. I'm reviewing Lawson's Scrag Mountain Pills. They just sent to the, the Boston area for the first time. And this is actually brewed in Vermont at Lawson's new big brewery tap room place. I've never been there. And I don't think I've ever had a Lawson's lager. So we'll see. It's 4.8% alcohol. They say it is a Czech style lager. It was canned 11 days ago. So there you go. This actually has been selling pretty well at the store. I just started working. Mainly probably because it's a new thing from Lawson's and it's been hot. So people are buying their Pilsners up and that looks pretty good. Very pale, really nice head, nice little bubbles. The head is, I don't know, it could be maybe a little better. A lot of big bubbles now I'm seeing on the sides there. So that'll probably die down rather quickly. Mm. It kind of looks more like a German Pilsner, but it has a very deep malty aroma that makes it maybe a little bit more Czech. Czech Pilsners tend to be a little lower alcohol, less dry and a little bit maltier, um, but it's pretty hard to tell the difference, especially because a lot of American brewers make bigger, maltier Czech Pilsners. I like to hear exactly what, why they think they're Czech and not, not German. Mm. That's really nice. Really clean. Big on the hops, but lots of crusty malt. A hm. little bit of a minerally thing. I want to say sulfur, but it's not like off-putting sulfury quality. Oh, well, it's nice. You can see the head is dying down pretty quickly, unfortunately. Because a lot of, like the greatest pilsners will just have this beautiful billowy head that is full of full fine bubbles. But even without a nice head, it's a really good pilsner. It's given me plenty of sort of lemon grassy hop flavor. It's a little bit sweet, which I guess also might make it more in the Czech style. Um, yeah, probably, I guess it does make sense. To call it Czech Pilsner, perhaps, <clears throat> even though if you compare this to like Pilsner Kell, pour that out, that one almost looks like a pale amber. Um, I think in part because they triple decocked it. So they take off a portion of the mash and boil it vigorously to get some more flavor and color, but without using, you know, dark, just using dark malts. I don't know if they decocked this one. I know most of American breweries don't even have the abilities to use decoction <clears throat> mashes in their brewery. Well, this one might have a single decoction or something, but they don't really give you any info on the can except talk about the Crag Mountain Aquifer. I give this one a four. Maybe even higher. It's got a nice mouthfeel too. It's light and refreshing, but there's a little bit of body, a little bit of sweetness. So if you like Czech Pilsners, I recommend this one. It's out in the area, extremely fresh, so you're really getting lots of nice hop aroma in this beer. <clears throat> and has a nice spicy bitterness that works out. That's it. Bye.